Hey there everybody, what is going on? My name is Aditya and welcome back to another brand new video regarding semantic UI's theming process and this is part number 7 of I don't know how many parts are going to be there. So basically in today's video I'm gonna be going over a certain thing. In last couple of videos like two videos you are seeing a particular pattern that I am following. I'm going back to the site variables and I'm going back again to my uh, global site variables and I'm changing only those. I'm tweaking a couple of things over here and there. Now obviously I cannot keep on like just going through every single section of the site dot variables uh, because there are way many other things like uh, you know there are a certain elements which I want to cover all of them there are a lot of collections there are a lot of modules which I want to cover obviously and views too so I cannot just stumble upon just this one thing uh, creating a lot of videos just focusing on site dot variables thing basically uh, you can see I don't have any internet so I'll not be able to be uploading this right now this video might just be a little late even though let's just see what uh, I got for you so basically you can see here there are different types of sections like the base sizes border radius you can go ahead and try to customize these things now don't try to customize it when it is something like this when it is referring to something like this and just try to customize this variable and make sure that when you find out this variable be sure that this variable is not referring to some other variable try to make sure that you are changing a root variable from your code now obviously primary color is set to the blue and blue at down there is somewhere um, all the way down right over here so this blue is set right over here and most probably you are not interested in this blue and you want to change it just change the blue color you will be ready to go over there or you know some in some cases it might just be required to change the primary color like I had done mm, you can try and tweak these things a little bit there are a lot of options over here most of which you can go ahead copy and paste in your site variables for uh, global site variables and you'll be ready to go even though there are a lot of things that I do not recommend you changing like the brand colors obviously the brand colors are not gonna be changing and in case they change you can simply just go ahead and do whatever um, maybe even semantic UI is going to be updating them as soon as they, they are done with it so don't you don't have to worry about those all you have to worry about is uh, these other things these other couple of things like you know these hover colors the primary colors that you are going to be using for your application you can see there are a lot of color only the color part is over here inside of the entire site dot variables file I wanted to wrap this video up with just this and I guess you can go ahead and tweak around this thing just play around them in next video we're gonna be taking a look at some of the glow uh, some of the elements from the elements folder and the first thing that we are gonna be doing in here is input now obviously input might not be the best option but I'm gonna be going with input for the first time ever so anyways see you guys in the next video peace out